Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. This is episode 132. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building. My guy is back. Please introduce yourself to the audience. Hey, hey, good folks. My name is KC of the KC Sports Show. How you guys doing? Everybody KC, doing let good? them <laughs> know where you're coming in from. International Hype, not just a hashtag. It is a way of life. Hey, you know, I'm coming straight from Atlanta by way of Philly, West Philly, that is, you know. Um, the playground is where he spent I'm most a, of his days. <laughs> hey, you know, I already know, man. Fifty <laughs> Second Street and West. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I'm a uh, KC. I got I um got my own show. I'm the co-host and owner of the KC Sports Show. Is this sports show we do daily? Uh, well, twice a week. We'll say twice a week. Um all about sports sometimes we dibble and dabble in other stuff but you know if you want to follow us we're on instagram tiktok all that jasmine taz i don't hype i don't know if you want to do this in the beginning or at the end you want me to no 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 that's, that's right we now. call that a tease in the building you know what i'm saying that will be the third right. segment of the show you know what i'm saying when you put us on game and tell us what we need to know i got you, you know what i'm saying when we give him a little just get a little taste of kc and he'll let y'all know all about his whole situation all right so now this is episode 132 uh so we got a clip. I'm um, trying to figure out how to get this clip on the page. And we got a young lady. Shouts out to the first of all. You know, when I plagiarize, I like to give people credit. First of all, shouts out to Sonny. Yeah, don't be and, a thief. <laughs> oh, she, she's fam. She's GFT fam. That's two every Tuesday, 2 o'clock on GFT Radio Network. You can find a hot house podcast behind. Uh, Sonny is one of those folks, though. She sends a clip into the group message. We talked about this uh, a couple of weeks back on the Monday show that we do every Monday at GFT Radio Network on the YouTube channel. And make sure y'all lock in and join the conversation. Is the hashtag over there every Monday, 10 o'clock. Make sure y'all are there. Um, well, we did this whole topic, but I wanted to go a little, let's go a little more with this joint because Shorty was tripping on the, uh, not Sunny, the girl on the video. The girl on the video says her and this dude is talking and <laughs> he made this other girl, this whole layout, he made like a that five looks nice meal. too. Did it? Uh, you could pictures. tell that nigga was in, he was definitely in culinary school. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say he took pictures and shit. That looked nice. It, so yeah, she said she called me, man, and he said this is what I'm doing, and he shows her whole charcuterie board and everything. Like, so what I need the to know here? Charcuterie board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I watch Hard Knocks too. Um, so <laughs> what I need to know here is this is a new you know saying because I'm out the game as y'all know eight years this year that I've been married. Hey, Bill. Um, what are the dating lines here? Okay, if we just say we talk, is it inappropriate for me to make somebody else something to eat? Is it inappropriate for me to share the fact that I did a whole situation with another young lady? Because I know you still out there in them streets. Talk to me. All right, so uh, you're gonna get me in some trouble. I have a girl now. I do have a girl. That's cool. You tell but, her we only um, you tell her when when you send her the episode because as you know, when we shout people out. On the How to Hustle podcast with Hype, we let him know. Hype said he only accepts five yeah. stars, not four. So we appreciate you hitting the button. <laughs> we got you. We got you. <laughs> so, I mean, from the clip, if you want my breakdown of the clip, she did, if you go into it with the the preference of what she said, and it's a big, it's a big phrase she said, we're just talking. Yes, we're just talking. Titles are important, as I always tell people. But go ahead. So if you if you're just talking to this gentleman, but he sends you well, one he's very transparent by the fact that he sends the photos and told you that he was cooking for another woman that his friend that's his friend. So I, you kind of <laughs> got to take it with a grain of salt. You know I'm saying like you kind of got to take it on the shoulder a little bit because y'all don't got no titles. I mean, whatever y'all doing or whatever y'all have agreed upon. It ain't no title, ain't no boyfriend or girlfriend situation. So he feels comfortable enough to tell you that he's cooking for another young lady. Um, I would respect it. I, I that you can't do nothing else but respect it. That's my take on it. You can't get upset about it. So this was this is what I told them because I told them before I got married, this was my life. I never had a girlfriend in my life because I never wanted one. 
I never felt like, what's the point of me telling you you're going to be my one and only if I'm going to try to talk to your girlfriend or the other chick or the next chick or the next chick? Like, I hate when niggas do that. They do it all the time. Where I can do whatever I want, but you better not ever have a text message from a nigga on your phone. It's goofy. So, if we just talk, we just talk. Now, you know as a dude who's dealt with different women, there's a certain way that you're going at certain chicks. Some chicks are the chick you take to the bar and we're going to order 20 20 piece buffalo wing and that's all this is going to take. Some chicks I got to take to the restaurant. They got to have some cloth napkins. Some chicks you got to take on the trips. Some chicks you got to, like, there's levels to this. What it seemed like. Yeah, there's definitely levels. What she didn't know is she wasn't on that level is what it seems like to me. Yeah, when like for you to be so brazen to send her pictures of your well professional taking like the food was laid out perfectly. Let me say that that was Instagram worthy at every point in way. But the yeah, fact that Google's light and not only that, did huh? he send you Yeah, yeah, the lighting was good. I was like, God, I need what is he does he got a catering business? Like that shit was nice. Jose, bro. My um, wedding photos ain't look this nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, okay, so based off of that, that lets you know how you should move. Um, I don't know, like the like out here today is different. Uh, people move different the way they date. S- some people are cool with just casually dating and hooking up. Some people want the title. I think with this, what we have here is plain and simple. You guys are just it's a casual hookup. It's nothing serious about, about that. The fact that you went and took your time to go and post all this it makes you look kind of silly makes the girl look kind of silly um for even getting upset about it if anything if i'm the chick if i'm the chick in that situation i'm gonna move my way then i'm gonna be like okay cool i see how we rocking i'm not gonna make a big fuss out of it i'm gonna go but that's me i'm 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 that person that i see how you moving i'm gonna move accordingly I think I'm like, not gonna make a big fuss about it because you ain't my you ain't my dude. At the end of the day, you ain't my dude. So why am I getting upset about this? So now let's flip the no script. Title. You talk to a chick and you say, "Oh damn, what you doing tonight?" And she like, "Oh no, I'm chilling. I'm having a little company. Raheem about to slide. Just made him a little something to eat." And you get these photos in your phone. <laughs> then y'all just talk though. How you are you feeling any type of way? You thinking anything about this? You going like, "Damn, I ain't know she know how to make rack of lamb." Like no 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 no. If she say that's her friend and all that, then again, if we just talking, I'm not gonna. It's not gonna be no pressure. It's not gonna be no. I'm upset about it. I'm like, all right, cool. That's your friend. Cool. Cause best believe, I got something on the back burner. All right. You my you was my plan A. I got a plan B. I'm gonna bounce out. That's what you're doing. That's how we moving. Cool. Until we actually got an official like title, regardless of what's going on, but. If you just linking, hooking up, and it ain't no nothing there, I don't got no reason to be upset about that. That you got to do it over your crib, okay? A- again, you're if you want to date intentionally, then you should know what's going on. Them two ain't dating intentionally. Them two are just having fun at this point. Cause ain't no way in hell if a girl that I'm really rocking with, I'm going to send her pictures of food that I'm making for another chick. Like that's crazy. It's craziness. I mean, like that's just common I mean, sense tells you. People always don't tell you they want you to be honest until they get their feelings hurt. Because people don't really want you to be honest. They want you to tell them what they want to hear. And in that situation, they needed to have open, honest dialogue and conversation about what's cool and what's not cool in these situations. Like I was saying, this was my life. Was I'm somebody who, who know how to cook and I like to cook and all of that. So me cooking for whoever wouldn't have never been a big deal. But, you know... Yeah, like, man, man, like I said, the way this stuff was laid out, like, he nigga was a culinary school because he had the joints cooked at 160 degrees. Yeah, I, I he had them cooked. He had them laid in the perfect, perfect circle. Like some shit out of Hell's Kitchen. It would just look laid out. It was like, you couldn't make it no better. <laughs> it was, it's see, disrespectful. Was, it was very disrespectful. See, this was another joint that I thought of, too, though, because, like, my mom used to have two stores. So, like, we used to have this chick came to the store and told my mom, like, when we she was closing the store, like, her dude thinks she could cook because she come to the store and grab her stuff all the time and then tell him she made it. So I don't know if main man could have slid down somewhere, bought all that, and then just plated it nicely. But <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's I always think that we, possibility. Uh, you never know. I, but, yeah, I think, though, it's always you have to set these standards and these boundaries 
I guess you, you got to be honest with yourself. You got to understand what are the standards that you are setting. You cannot think that you are the fly out chick when it only took me, like I said, 20 wings, two double cheeseburgers or whatever the situation might be. Could have been a corner store cheese stick if you're in Philly. You never know. Um, but you can't be. I mean, but it's. Couldn't have went down for a cheese stick and then you thought you was a fly out. That's not the way. Like, you have to understand where you are in these situations. For both of us, it's, guys. I mean, girls. The, the, I mean, like, the generational gap in terms of dating is different, too. Like, it's a nuance almost to date nowadays. Like, you got to kind of gauge what a person is willing to take in terms of, okay, what are you cool with? Are you cool with threesomes? Are you cool with, you know, whatever you cool with? Are you cool if I date this chick or if I got something else going on? I might have a baby. Mom. Like, it's a bunch of shit that goes on. And we, and then... On top That's of why that, the conversations like, is important so that we get all of that out on the table so that we know where we at. Yeah. So that you end up salty. But on top of that, too, <laughs> how many dudes you know are cooking for a girl that they they just are cool with? I'm going to be honest. I don't like cooking, but I'm only cooking for my chick. I'm not cooking for nobody that I'm just friends with. Like, Well, that's why like, I stated, though, from the rip. See, it depending on the dude, like somebody, like I said, somebody like me, like I know, like I said, my mom had two stores. I know how to cook. So cooking yeah. for somebody ain't a big deal if you know how to cook. Now, if you you know, I ain't really too sturdy with this situation. And it's a real big situation if you did put something together. That's different. But if you the one who cooks at all of the parties and all of that type, like, ain't about nothing that you ain't nothing to eat. Because he could be looking at it like that. Like, I, this is what I do. Like, like I said, the way that shit was laid out, that nigga's in culture. Or he's starting to cater. He probably was just practicing. He could have just sold it as, I'm just practicing with her. She, my, she <laughs> taste testing the stuff for me. I mean, that would have been the best out for him if he was going. And then he sent the pictures to her. He's like, nah, I'm cooking for my friends. So it could really be something real lighthearted. But if, like, whatever the situation is, whatever boundaries they have laid out, she took it some type of way and she didn't really understand the full boundaries. So that's yeah, why you got to sure. probably put that out there. Before we move on to the next segment, just make sure y'all go to the Twitter page at I Am Hype. We will have the video up there so that you can see what we're talking about. It is kind of bad if you do not see the video and you do not know what it is that we are referring to because we kind of keep referring to it and we don't want to leave you out of the whole situation. Now, we're going to switch it up and now get to the next segment of the show, which is Get to Know KC here, sponsored by Custom Hustle World. At Custom Hustle World on Instagram, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. We do custom jerseys, jackets, sneakers. We have four versions of the sneaks, the ones, twos, threes, and the fours, the CH ones, twos, threes, and fours. What I got on today, let me see for y'all. We got over on the CH threes, the black and white panda situations. You know what I'm saying? You get them however you need them. You want your name on the back or you want my name on the back? You like me that much? We can do all that for you. Uh, available in any color, though, that you can put together all four versions of the sneakers. Uh, football, basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer. College shirts, cargo pants, however you need it. We customize in those situations over there at Custom Hustle World. I own the outfit. It's not just, you know what I'm saying? I, again, that's not just a hashtag. That's, you know what I'm saying, the whole situation. So now, get to know KC. KC, tell me this. Who is your favorite character? Any TV show. You can go from Doug to The Wire, however you want to make that situation. <laughs> oh, you said The Wire, Omar. I, no, I said, no, any 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 TV show, any movie, anything. Who is your favorite character from any show? Any show, cartoons, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Uh shit. I, that's a that's a loaded question because I got a bunch of favorite characters. Let me see. Give me three. I mean, Goku. If we talk about if we talk about anime, Goku. Um, you said The Wire was one of my favorite shows. Uh, Omar for sure. Um, and then who else? What show have I been watching lately? I haven't been really watching TV like that lately. Um, who is one of my favorite characters? Since you Hell, uh, I'm trying to think, what, what, what show do I watch? Oh, Sopranos. I like, I like Tony Soprano. Yeah. Since you bought up the wire, are you an Avon or a Stringer? I'm an Avon type of dude, man. You team Avon. I, I mean, so you don't think Avon fucked up the whole yeah. situation when he came home arguing with Marlo over the corner? Stringer had the bread running in. You don't think Avon fucked that up? Nah, Stringer Stringer fucked that up. Stringer shouldn't have been going behind Avon's back doing that bullshit that he was doing, trying to set people up, bringing Buck Brother Muzon on. You, you then he done teamed up with Omar, and then all that shit went to hell. Come on now, man. What's Stringer did that shit? He fucked it. Copy up. that. 
Yeah. What's the best line a chick ever said to you? Hmm. The chick ever said to me. Yeah, the chick hmm. ever said to you. What's the best line you got? The best line I got. You didn't pull me. I pulled you. That's the best line I ever heard. Okay. Uh, now, I'm from a man's perspective. That's the best line I ever heard. You didn't. I pulled you. Tell me about this now. I throw out a year, and you tell me what you think of and how old you was. Two thousand four. It was like thirteen, dog. Ah. Uh, it was okay. Year. CT, what you got going on? <laughs> Uh, thirteen year old. Two K. Uh, Come on, you was doing like what was going on in the world of CT. <laughs> man, you you putting me on spot right now. Um, th- thirteen years old. What was I doing? Madden. I was being a thirteen year old. I was Madden and the girls, just discovering and you know testosterone, what? getting a few fights. That's it. All right. What does your thirteen year old crush crush look like now? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. I <laughs> that's a good question. I don't know. I don't think I really care either. <laughs> Copy that, smart man. Um, another one for you. Since you're down in the A now, you relocated. BMF. When you hear BMF, what do you think? Oh, uh <laughs> I told you this one was on the board. <laughs> uh, man. BMF, um one of the biggest drug Gangs in Atlanta, one of the biggest drug gangs in Atlanta. At that time, I think of a, I think of a I group of strong. Atlanta. I think of a group of strong men trying to uplift the community. Okay, <laughs> that's a that's a good spin on it. That's a good positive spin on it. I, Nobody I can, patronized uh, the Shakies like those good brothers. Okay, they were keeping the single. Uh, the Shakies. They were, <laughs> they were keeping the single uh, brothers. They and the definitely did. Together. <laughs> they definitely did flood the strip clubs. You you are right about that, sir. You're All right now, on that one. this is the last one. Rebranding, man. Um, it's been a minute since we last kicked it. Hype. Um, who? Uh, I haven't gone through a strenuous amount of rebranding. Um, actually, no, I wouldn't even say it was. It's just one rebranding. Uh, one show to another. So, if you want me to get into my whole diatribe about it, I will. You got. The so time. this is. So this was the segue from rebranding was going to lead us from uh, get to know KC to what do we need to know, which is sponsored by H2H Cleaning. That is at H2H Cleaning. Gotcha. On Instagram only, we do roofing, plumbing, flooring, HVAC, cleanups, cleanouts, and remodeling. If you need to make it happen, you make it worth my while, we will slide down to the A and take care of your whole situation. But that is at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. Big jobs, small jobs, we're here to help. Now you were saying rebranding. Talk to us. Rebranding. So I, K, the KC Sports Show derived out of uh, the A and K Sports Show. Um, to get a little personal, um, the A and K Sports Show was with me and my ex fiance. That was uh, we are no longer together. So I had to do a quick rebrand to the KC Sports Show. I had another show called the Bro Podcast that wasn't attached to any sports stuff, but that show went away because of reasons, scheduling reasons. But the KC Sports Show is now is now my my full IP. I, you know my name on it. So anything that we do is a highlight on me. Um, and I'm I'm actually loving it. I'm uh it it was a process to get everything back up and running after the whole situation fell through. But I, I love the logo. I love the. Re- this is what I need to know. One, yeah, I do like, you know what I'm saying, the flashing lights logo. Very eye-catching, you know what I'm saying? You need to get that on a t-shirt or something. Um, one, this is what I need to know, because the rebrand, because I knew you from the, doing the brush, from doing the brush. And shout out, shout out to Jay Moon, you know what I'm saying? He still gets his episode every week. Um, just like you still get yours. But uh, rebrand, let's talk about the transition from going to a show like the brush where you're doing pretty much the same type of joint like everybody we type ta- you tackle on any type of topics whatever it is that's on the docket to just doing sports because you kind of doing the reverse of what i did when i started podcasting i started off just doing sports then we eased into conversational topics 
then I went to doing how to hustle on my own. So like, talk to me about that transition from we going all over the place. And now and I'm kind of low, I'm kind of getting myself down in just this one, this niche. Well, the bro, yeah, I felt like the bro was, it was all over the place. I mean, like you said, and it's a lot easier for me to do do this one niche sports because it's topics every day, every day, mm -hmm. every every week. There's something crazy going on. The bro was more of it was when I first started the bro podcast, I like maybe 10 episodes in. I didn't want to go into like doing relationship shit like everybody else was doing. So I was like, let's move away from that and let's just go on to like like pseudo shade room shit. But I kind of I still wanted to shy away from that and kind of keep it like unique with topics and then i was like you know what even though the scheduling went away like we had a whole breakdown of everybody's schedule and i'm happy that i no longer have to deal with that stress of coming up with something to talk about every week just out of the blue with sports is just like straight to the point i i'm it's it's easier for me i do have a uh i have a guy that does my notes for sports so it's a lot easier for me to just like all right let me look at these notes go through them what i what i think is going to be trending what i think is going to be important boom and it's it's easy to be pushed out the episodes i do two episodes a week and i if i look back at it i needed that i did need that growth in terms of just going from the bro podcast to going doing a, a sports podcast that now is just it's all the way geared down to just me it's geared down to well it's still me and jay moon yeah, it's me. It's still me and Jay Moon, but it's still as overall. It's it's my show. My name's on the show, so and it's sports. And then sports can branch out in the different ways. I can we can go into different topics. If you ever listen to the episode, me and Jay Moon don't just stay on sports. We we talk about various other things, but it's mainly geared around sports. So you'll still have a fun time when you come listen to the show. I promise. It's gonna be right, it's now. gonna be a good show. Now that we did do rebranding situation, this is where you tell us what we need to know. Talk to me about all the things that you think me and the audience need to hear. Well, um, you guys definitely need to come over here. Still support my guy hype. Shout out to him. He he's the you the greatest. I can't say enough, man. You like one of the most genuine people I've met in the past four years. And and for me to keep in contact with you this long, and you all the way in another state, I you know, it's it's I got I, I I enjoy the relationship, but for me, for people to know, come over, watch the show, the KC Sports Show. We uh we we record every Wednesday and Friday. The episodes come out Thursday and Saturday. Um, we're about to start going into live streaming. Uh, I want to say in the middle of the month of February, so that way Where you can kind of like at? join in. It's going to be on all platform, or well, all the platforms you can stream: YouTube, Twitch, Kick. Uh, where else can you stream at? If I can get it up on Instagram, I will. I'll figure that out. But mainly YouTube, Twitch, Kick are going to be the main platforms you can go and interact. We're going to have a lot of we giving out gifts. Uh, if you answer a right question for trivia, we we do a lot of interactive things. Like I'm giving back to the audience, the people that support. I'm gonna give back to you. We're also sponsored by Bet US as well. We got that sponsorship. We got Parker sponsorship. So. That's not Get gloss discount over code the down whoa, below. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Stop. Hit the brakes here. We don't gloss over the sponsorship. You know what I'm saying? This was something that we talked about a couple weeks ago in an episode where uh, a lot of people have a podcast, but a lot of people aren't in the business of podcasting. <laughs> like, there's yeah, yeah. a huge difference in, you know, there's a huge difference in sitting in the basement screaming at each other and sitting in the basement making some money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Let's yeah, not very true. Let's not just gross over, oh yeah, and we got no nah, salute to y'all for getting that. Because you know what I'm saying? I, I always tell niggas, like, I love to hear that my folks is doing good or you got something else going on. Like we was just talking before we started the show, and I'm like, every situation ain't always about you. Well, I remember like you was just talking about nah well, we needed some musical guests. I seen you posted that on Twitter, and it takes nothing for me to send five messages to niggas I know who do music. You know what I'm saying? Like it takes Much nothing for me for that, to man. Much love. It takes nothing for me to just add two, three people and say, "Yo, my man, looking for folks, do interviews." 
Like now, people act like that's the hardest thing in the world, but it's like if everybody thought like that, if everybody was always trying to pull everybody together, then we would all be doing a whole lot better. But if niggas always want to compete with each other on some dumb type time, like I don't, I don't understand it. But my bad. But yeah, you know it's funny that you say that. Salute the y'all for having a sponsorship situation. I love that, bro. It's it's funny that you say that that we competing. I just saw something on Instagram where it was like, you know, a spider. How the spiders work? They all kind of have a web and they connect. If we all came together and had the web and connect, we would all be in a better place. And we just talking about black people in general. They we all try to compete against each other. It don't have to be like that. So I'm more in the mindset of I rather I rather network with people and have that connection because I'm not trying to compete. I'm just trying to, you know, produce the best product and also bring my folks up with me. Um, but yeah, back to the sponsorship. Yeah, we got bet bet us. Uh we got the discount codes down below on our YouTube channel uh, and also on our uh, any anywhere that you listen to the podcast, Spotify, Apple Music. We're going to have the discount codes so you get like 125 percent off your first bet. Uh, Poggers is an energy drink. We we got um, I just got randomly hit up by them. They were talking about some. Hey, here's a discount code. If you want, you know, we see we see you on Twitter and, you know, sports pack. It was it was a whole little conversation. They gave me that. And that, that's how we started that relationship. So hey, I mean niggas, the podcast these is coming niggas along is drinking good. these niggas is drinking and betting over there, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's a night. It to me, I I this is my baby. I put a lot of time and effort in this. Um, and I just I just love the content creation space in general. So uh it allows me to like just flourish and do what I need to do or do what I want to do. Um, the ultimate goal is to really just be independent of anything and just do this full time. I would like to do this full time. And even if it's just not this, if it's just content in general, I, I can do that. But uh, we're still building. <clears throat> we got a lot more stuff that we got to add on to the show segments. Uh, we do a question of the day. We, we're we also trying to um, <clears throat> get more interactive. Like I said, we're going to start streaming more often. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a whole thing. I want to do something different than every other sports podcaster. I want to do a little different and bring something unique to the space because there are a lot of sports podcasters, but how many of them are doing something that stands out from the rest of the crowd? How many of them are doing are like look different? Um, I'm even looking into getting another host, another yeah, another co-host, uh, woman per se to kind of add uh, a different. What's the word I'm looking for? Add, yeah, yeah, Diversity. yeah, yeah. Yeah, diversity in the in the cast. There'd just be two guys. I want to add a, a a woman that knows actual knows sports, but you know the aesthetic of the podcast to show. Hey, we want to watch this because we want to get her take as well. But you know, bring the so woman, this is bring the woman something that. My bad. Go ahead. Finish what you're saying. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is something that <clears throat> How to Hustle Seminars uh, still available. You can still purchase those How to Hustle Seminars. Just get in my DMs. Let me know if you want all five. You just want one of them. We can make all that happen. Uh, this is one of the things, a little bit of game that I'll give you free here. Is you find a lane and dominate it. If uh, you want to do, you want to be in the lane of sports, then that's cool. Like you said, we bring her on, and this gives us a different. Pers- this gives us a different look than everybody else. This makes us stand out and be unique. Because everybody, everybody's talking all of this shit, but you're going to only get me when you get to the Out of Hustle podcast. You know what I'm saying? So I don't give a fuck if it's whoever. They ain't me and they can't do it like I'm going to do it. This is why I don't try to sound like nobody. I don't try to format like nobody. I don't want to be nobody else. Like you said, I don't really looking for no situation to be tied into your shit. Now, this is mine. Like, this is my name. This is my whole situation. It's like I run and do all of this shit. And I like it that way because I always tell them because I'm a ball yeah. dominated guard. I'm at the top of the key. I got the ball, and I will tell <laughs> you back cut, set the screen. You come off the pick, like yeah, I will put you in the best spot possible. But I can't be the one coming off the screen and setting the back pick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even though he, now uh, he Kobe with the 81 point, John. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm more of a 63 three quarters, you know that, that type <laughs> time. Uh, <laughs> MB face ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's goat type talk. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody can't do that. Some niggas only average 11. But, <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, like uh, when you find a situation, bro, make it your own and dominate it. And like I said, I ain't even know all of this. I didn't even know all of this. And this is why we do the 
tell me what we need to know segment is because you find out shit that you needed to know. So you got anything else before we wrap up episode 132? Nah, man, just make sure you follow us. We on Instagram, Twitter, tw- TikTok, unfortunately. YouTube, make sure you follow us. The KC Sports Show. No underscores. Actually, it's an underscore if you're going to go to kick, but everything else is just one I was word. about to say, I'm um, looking yeah, at the check screen. Us out. Was a, I was about to say, I'm looking at the screen. It was an underscore on this K joint, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's kick. Kick is the only one. All right, KC, bro, I appreciate you coming on. In fact, damn, I forgot to tell you this too before we close this one out. Let me say thank you to you for intro- you introduced me to CT. Shouts out to CT. Bro gets his episode every week too. CT had the number Got one guy, CT. episode of the How to Hustle podcast for like a year. So <laughs> big shots. That's my guy. He moved. He got a movement yeah. behind him. Big shots out to CT. That was episode 132, y'all. We are out. I am hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs>